Hello and welcome. Uh, this time we, it's not really a tutorial. What I do, just to show you something. Uh, I tried at the moment to learn Houdini, and uh, I found this great in Dagma Group. They have some really nice Houdini uh, tutorials, and they have a C four T tutorial here too. And I watched this tutorial, and uh, was really. Uh, impressed of it and and so I thought okay uh, maybe some people want to make this black style models too but don't want to, to, to write a script or something else and so I added some little espresso to their script here and made some user data and so you can easily now uh, make uh, something like this with my file what I give it uh, free for download uh, first, what you need is uh, that this works, you need uh, thinking particles. If you don't have thinking particles, it won't work, unfortunately. Okay, but let's start now. Okay, this is the file you will get, this black style C4D. And here we have a sweep and a control. The control, you see, we have uh, some user data. I put it in my control, this is just a null, I put it here because when I add here some uh, models or null object or uh, uh, something else, objects or something else, every time I have to search where is my control null and then, so here I know where is my control null. That's the reason it is here. Okay, first what we need is an object. So for this tutorial I do it with a torus, make it smaller. The size does not really matter, but uh, it's, uh, for me it works best if it's uh, about 50 centimeter, but it really doesn't matter. So you just have to to put in here then other numbers, but that's all. Okay, then I hit NB to see the mesh here. What we have to do is uh, we have to make this torus editable. So uh, hit C on your keyboard and that's okay. Now I go, I click again on my control and I click here on this small plus sign here so I have a, my own window for this control and so I don't have to go to click every time on the control so now the next is I throw my torus here in this object slot here okay then I need a container the container is uh, therefore to there comes all the splines that will be generated comes in this container this container is just a null object, nothing more. So I make a null object. I name it splines, but I don't have to rename it or name it however you want. Splines, so I know there are the splines. And drag it under container. Okay, that's more than less all we have to do. The next step is, you see we are on frame one, that's, that's okay. And now I, enable my script here and I have 500 particles and here it's important that you start with really low numbers if you go too high it could easily be that your, uh, your uh, machine crashes or cinema crashes the machine not, but uh, not cinema uh, if you have a weak machine start with no low, lower numbers even but and you can go up 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 but slowly but here with 500 particles and distance of two should be should happen nothing so, uh, should happen something but <laughs> nothing dangerous. So now I go back here to frame null, and immediately you see we get particles here. This is the 500 particles on on the surface of this torus, and yeah, you can use this script maybe for for con contains or, or drops on, on a bottle or water drops or something else you can use this when you clone then some clones on particles and so on so things but now we do this black style thing and the distance is uh, it, it makes a spline in the distance everywhere where two particles have the distance of uh, maximum two units whatever these units are so We'll see now what we do when I, mean, I click now on play. Exactly, you see we have, let's hide the torus. We have here some splines. But okay, the distance is too small that we get the 
a nice result. So what I do now is I go to the splines, you see, here we have now a lot of splines in this spline container. What I do is I click with the middle mouse button on the null object on the splines. You see now all splines are uh, selected, it's 423 splines. And control click on the spline null itself, so that it's not selected and delete the whole splines again. I know now, okay, this splines, this, uh, this distance is too small. Let's try it with uh, five. And go back and play again. And I see, okay, that looks better. But still not what I want, so I make this small. Again, I middle mouse button, click on the splines, control click on the null and delete the splines inside. What I can try now is uh, let the distance be like this and go up with the spline count, uh, with the particle count. So I go to thousand here maybe. Go back. Now I should see more particles when I go back here. See we have more particles and try it again. And yes, it looks better but still not what I want. So again, middle mouse button, click on splines, control, click on the, on the null, and delete the splines. And here now I have tried with 10. Okay, back and play. And this will be a little slower, of course now, but now it looks like I want it. And now, first what I do is I deactivate, uh, I disable the script so that I, can, uh, that I don't do it again and again and again. But here on the file I made just two frames so that can't happen not, uh, um, any, so it's okay. So, and you see it's, it's very slow in the viewport because we have lots of splines. Let's double, uh, let's middle click, middle mouse button click on the splines. We see we have 5000 splines in this. That's of course is slow. And what we want to do now to, to get that we can work faster is uh, I select the, the spline null and put it in a connect object. Yeah, and Alt G and click on connect. Okay, now I have to wait a little bit. We will see it when it gets uh, the other color, whiter, or brighter. Yeah, yeah, now it's done. And now I. Uh, hit C on my keyboard to make just one spline of these 5000 splines. So I hit, I, I select the connect object and hit C on my keyboard. This will need some time uh, in case uh, it's, uh, how fast is the computer. You see now here it's done and I have the panel box and now everything should work. You see how fast this works now. And I have one spline of this out of these 5000 splines. So I disabled the script, so I go back to, to get rid of these uh, ticks here. And the next thing what I do is I uh, drag this connect object under uh, in my sweep object under the circle here. So I have some nice geometry to render. Let's make NA to disable the mesh. And yeah, it looks nice. And maybe the, uh, the splines are too thin. So I go to my circle here and go, let's say, to 1.0.1. Uh, oh, that's maybe too thick. Five. And I have a nice black style model here. And now let's try it with another model. So I get rid of my connect object here. So, or, yeah, I get rid of it. Don't need it anymore. Don't need the torus anymore. And let's start from the beginning. So what I do is I go to frame one. So if you hit, hit G on your keyboard, you go, go one frame up. So I'm on frame one. There I start on frame one. So. Let's try another uh, thing, another object. Yeah, here from the sculpting menu. 
Let's try the female bust here. Drag it in. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the texture because I have the texture deactivated, but I don't need textures here now. Delete the texture. Okay, NB to see my... And that's okay. Particle count, I go down here first. So I start with low numbers, like before. So now I drag my female bust in the object here. I make a new container. So I need a null object. And now I leave it at null, so I don't rename it. Just drag it in and enable my script and go back to the null. I see I have particles all over the surface of the female bust here. So and but I think this will be not enough. But if I would go now to frame one and uh, make it again so I would have splines. I disable it, go to frame one. So it, it don't create splines, I don't need the splines now. That's the reason I, I disable it for the moment. Go to thousand here, enable the script again and go back. Now I see I have more. Okay, that looks quite nice. Distance of two will be to less, I think. Uh, go to distance of five and play. And wait what will... Uh, doesn't need as long as I thought. Ah, looks nice. But maybe I want no more is for the for the recording is I don't know if I should make more. Yeah, at least thousand two hundred or I go up with the distance a little bit. So I disable the script for the moment. Oh, can I can just click with the middle mouse button on the container. All splines are selected. Control click on the just on the null and hit delete so all the splines are deleted. And let's make distance uh okay and when not I try thousand two hundred and seven So I go back here, have some more particles, and now I hit run and wait. And it's much, much, uh, much more, I see. Okay, I like it, disable my script. Middle mouse button, uh, no, now I don't need now the middle mouse button because I want to keep the, the splines. So I click just on the null. I have again uh, 5,000 splines, I know it. So, And I think it's 5,000. Middle mouse button and I see it, yeah, 5,000 splines. Click on my null here and go to connect object, alt, and click to have my connect object. Wait a little bit until it changes the color so I see that it's ready. That needs now because we have... Oh, okay, we are done. And now I just click on my connect, so I select my connect and hit C on my keyboard to make one spline out of all them. This again could need a little bit do, 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 do. Well, there's a lot to do, a lot to calculate, but it should. Yep, we are done. Here I, I disabled my script and go back so I get rid of the ticks here. Okay. And now I drag my connect object under the circle here. And NA for mesh. And look what we get. <laughs> oh, that's great. And all just without scripting something. 
uh, but I recommend to to, uh, to watch the tutorial. It's really very 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 interesting. So, okay. If you want to see the, the uh, everything, the express attack, so to go to layers in the layer manager. Here is a hide layer, and if you click on this M here, you see everything here. And here, if you double click on the uh, express attack, you will see you will have the script now. This is the script. And this is the script here, right, this is the script from the Entagma group and this is this little thing is just what I, what I did, so that I did nothing more like this. <laughs> okay, so, uh, but I hide it again, so nothing, nothing can happen. Oops, uh, hide it, so, okay. Don't need this, and yeah, and now you have a renderable geometry and can play with it, and so you can do this with every uh, object you want. I hope you like this. It's just a little playing, uh, so it's nothing special. And yeah, and that's it. So uh, see you in the next tutorial, hopefully. And I don't know when I can do it, but for sure I'll do soon one another one. This was just because I have seen this this, this, this tutorial and uh, yeah, it was really interesting and then I thought maybe other people want to make something like this without scripting or something. Uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, have a nice day or here is evening and bye bye and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye, tschüss und baba.